Hey, what's up everybody? Noah here for Adafruit. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Orion Delta 3D printer from CME CNC. So we've been testing this printer out for six weeks now, and we've been printing a lot of our DIY projects. This is, of course, the Delta-style 3D printer that features a heated bed for printing in ABS, nylon, and, of course, PLA material. It's got a pretty big build volume of 150 millimeters, and it's got a removable glass plate, so it's easy to remove parts. So Delta-style printers use three arms that are connected to cheapskates, and that move along the z-axis. Each of these cheapskates use end-stop trigger screws for leveling the towers, and you basically just tighten or loosen the screws to level the bed. We really like the design of this thing because it has a really compact design. The components are housed underneath the bed, and it has an easily removable LCD panel because it uses these little thumb screws. So this is, of course, a Bowden drive system, which means the filament loader is separate from the nozzle. This allows for fast printing speeds and acceleration, but it kind of limits to using TPE filament like NinjaFlex, but it seems to print pretty well with PC TPE flexible nylon, and even at slow speeds, SemiFlex from NinjaFlex seems to work pretty well. If you haven't already, check out our video on using PC TPE filament with the Orion Delta printer right here. So when we first got the printer, we found out that we had a loose cheapskate, and this caused all sorts of dimensionally inaccurate prints, so you definitely want to ensure that the cheapskates are tight, and you can do so with a wrench to tighten the carriage. So most filament spool sizes are going to fit on the spool holder, which is right here on the side. It's very convenient, and it's actually removable. It also has a built-in SD card reader, which makes it quick to kick off a print without ever having to connect it to a host computer, and I really like that it has directory support, so you can have folders within the SD card. Okay, so to level the bed, we're gonna use the LCD to calibrate the Z height. The little thing in the front here is a rotary encoder, which is really nice for navigating menus and fine tuning the Z position. We're gonna, of course, use a piece of paper to level the Z height, and we're gonna turn the encoder ever so slightly to make fine adjustments until that piece of paper is just snagging the nozzle. You don't wanna go too far because you can damage the bed plate, so be very careful and don't turn it too far. You can damage it. So one of the first things that I printed on the Orion was my Raspberry Pi A plus enclosure. And I printed it in PLA and PC TPE material using Cura to Slice. We do, of course, have our profiles available for you guys to test your prints, so be sure to check that out. So parts under 100 millimeters are gonna print pretty well. You can print really detailed parts at 100 microns with fast speeds. And printing fine details like on these bracelets really show how you can print high quality features at fast speeds. Now, depending on the parts though, you might run into some retraction issues depending on the part, and that just requires a bit of cleanup. But this can easily be fixed by lowering the retraction distance and speed in your slicer. So while testing parts at 150 millimeters, I came across the notorious weird Z0 behavior, which is probably the most prevalent issue with Delta printers. This is, of course, heavily discussed in the CME CNC forums, and this is, of course, where the towers become unleveled in certain spots that are outside of the center in the tower homing points, causing dimensionally inaccurate parts. If you take a look at this graphic here, it really shows the spots in the bed that are unleveled and reveals which parts are just problematic, really. I found this to be a very challenging issue to resolve that takes a considerable amount of tweaking experience, but there are a few workarounds that are documented in the CME CNC forums, so be sure to check those out. So let's take a look at an overview of some pros and cons. First up with the pros, it is a very fast printer, it prints at really fine qualities, it's easy to work with and modify due to the open design, and it just looks really awesome when it's printing. It does of course have a small footprint for the large build area, and it has a large build area. Some of the cons though is that it is a Bowden drive system, so it's not as responsive to retracts like as a direct feed printer. So you're going to have some problems with NinjaFlex, but it does print pretty well with flexible nylon. It's a little bit tedious to level the bed in some parts, and the open frame means that you might need to build an enclosure if you're gonna print large ABS parts. So there you guys have it, that's the Orion Delta 3D printer. So if you're looking for a printer with high quality and fast speeds, man, the Orion is a really great machine. We do of course carry it in the Adafruit shop, and for more details, we have a guide on the Adafruit learning system, so be sure to check that out. And of course, we're gonna be using the Orion on a lot of future projects. If you guys have a Delta 3D printer at home, I wanna know about what you think. Did you get that weird bug? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about the Orion that we didn't cover in this video, please ask us here on YouTube and we'll answer it live on our weekly show on Google Hangouts. That's every Thursday at 3 p.m. ET. Thank you guys. Until next time, I'm Noah. Remember to make, share, and repeat. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go take this printer and